what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you are new make sure you subscribe okay subscribe before you watch the rest of the video subscribe first. but anywho welcome back to my channel guys it's your girl Bree. as you can see from the title of this video i will be doing my shower product routine and what i use to stay fresh so yes i basically will be showing you guys a list of products that i use um when i shower as a disclaimer this video i'm not sponsoring or you know, this video isn't sponsored by any of these products, so I just want to let y'all know that this is not like a sponsored video or anything. So if, you know, Dove, Dr. Tills, if any of y'all happen to come across this video, hit your girl up. But yes, again, these products is what I use. Not sure if any of you guys are familiar with, you know, Dove or any other products that I'm going to be mentioning. Again, this is what, this is what I use to stay fresh throughout the day. Um, as well as what I use after the shower to moisturize my skin and just feel very, you know, moisturized. So first off, I'm going to start off with like feminine hygiene and what I use, you know, downstairs. So I have two products that I use. The first one, of course, y'all, is the infamous Honey Pot. My good sis, she gets me right um, when I'm on my monthly or when I'm not on my monthly and I just want to feel fresh down there. Um, this is a very good wash. It is a plant derived feminine care sensitive foaming wash and it's really really good um and i like it because it says it's for people with vaginas made with people with vaginas like it's a cute little slogan that they have on the bottom but yes this is what i use down downstairs and then i also use this antiseptic skin cleanser down there I got this from my grandmother. I tend to kind of like get boils on my thighs sometimes. So I like to use this because for my thick thigh girls, you know, our thighs are always rubbing together and stuff. So I want to make sure my thighs are like the skin on my thighs aren't irritated or isn't irritated. So I like to go in with this skin cleanser and just cleanse my skin down there. Use my cleansers and my feminine wash. I like to go in with this Dove Moisture Boost Pre Cleanse Shower Butter. Y'all, good. Get a good look at this product. This is like heaven. This is like probably one of the best products I've been introduced to and influenced to buy. And one thing about this product, no influencer has ever influenced me to actually go somewhere and purchase something. But I watched one of my one of my favorite YouTubers, her name is uh, I Am Chelsea Janae um, on YouTube. And she did like a shower routine, y'all. And she used this, y'all. It's like the real deal. Not only does it smell really good, but it's just, I don't know, the product is real buttery and you can feel the moisture being put back into your body like it's just and the fact that it's a pre cleanse so it's kind of like i don't know like you get a set routine kind of like if you were to go like get pampered and they got like this whole list of like products that they use this just makes me feel like i'm pampering myself and um kind of like putting on lotion or oils or butter some kind of cream butter after my shower but kind of like before i shower so like when I get out the shower, my skin is feeling really soft, really clean, and just moisturized. So y'all, this right here is a product that I highly, 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 highly recommend, y'all. This is a good shower product. Like, I'm giving sis all her props. I'm bragging on this product, y'all. And I'm so sad because I've literally been using it every day since I got it, and I really just don't wanna run out of it. Y'all gotta get that freaking pre-cleanse butter. Like it's nothing better than like a pre-cleanse, like something to use before you like actually cleanse your body. And the fact that you're moisturizing your body before you clean it. And then if it suds, like if you put it on your body and you probably like add more water, that's why I like to do. I like to add more water. When you add more water, it suds up so it feels like you're getting like a deep cleanse, but it's a pre-cleanse, and then you're moisturizing your body. It's it's amazing. I love you guys. I understand how you recommend it. So next, after we go in with that, we take this uh, Dove Moisture Boost Body Cleanser. So when I first got this, it was just kind of like to have something aside from like my regular body wash. But come to find out, Sis has a twin, Sis has a cousin. Like this, this is I guess some kind of like double combo number two type thing you know buy one get one i'm just kidding but no you do like the pre-cleanse and then you go in with the actual body cleanser but the only thing i the only thing i don't like about this or didn't like about it was the smell but for some odd reason after i go in with the butter 
when I use this, it smells better. It's, it's like it was made to kind of like go with that. Like, it's kind of like you are made to, well, you're technically supposed to use this after that, but it's kind of like, you know, don't use this without that type thing. So yes, um, I don't see this as like a body wash. I see this more so as like just a cleanser to kind of get that, you know, second cleanse going in. I really can't explain it, but I don't see this or use it as just like a body wash. It's just kind of like a primary. That's one thing I can say about Dove's products. They definitely give you that softness and that cleanse that you're looking for. So yes, I highly recommend this. I love using this. I love using this after I use that. But before, I only use this occasionally because I didn't like how it smelled. Like it just, even when you get it, and you can see like some of the product dripping down from the top, it's kind of like milky. Like it's like really creamy and milky. It's not like a body wash that'll like sud up or that's like really thick. It's really like cream like. I can't really explain it, but yeah. The bottle, I go in, I'm sorry y'all can't, y'all can't like see it because the lighting is like, I like to go in with this, uh, I'm holding it up right now. I go in with the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Body Wash. Um, it nourishes dry skin. It helps replenish skin's natural moisture for healthier looking skin. I sound like a commercial. But um, on my arm, y'all, I don't know if y'all can see it, but I have like these dark dots. I've had these on my skin for years, like years. I don't know when or where like they just started coming. My grandma claims that it's eczema and I don't know what products to use. I had a teacher when I was like a freshman in high school recommend that I just take some baking soda and I scrub my arm and I feel like it worked but I kind of got inconsistent with it and it just, I don't know. I don't know what this is. My grandma claims that it's eczema. So I just thought that this would be a good product to use to keep my skin from being dry. Cause I have really dry skin or I'm, my skin gets really dry. So I just thought that this would be a good product to use. Plus again, my favorite YouTuber, Chelsea, she kind of like influenced me to get this cause I've seen that she uses this. So I'm like, you know, one day I was in the store and I was like, let me use this. And then it's also lightly scented and I like that cause then that lets me know that it'll be like really good for my skin and not really like irritating like some other body washes that kind of get, you know, really irritating when the, um, scent is really strong or just overly scented. So yes, this is a really good product to use. So next, 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 my number one baby. This is my, this is my number one baby. Like this is it right here. I love this. This is the Dove Gentle Exfoliating um, Body Wash. I love how thick it is. I feel like you get I love when my rag, or not rag, but I love when I'm using something to wash my body or clean my body and it gets really sudy. I love how sudy this gets and I don't know if it comes, if it's because of the gentle exfoliating beads that comes in it, but I love how thick Dove makes their body washes. I love it. But it's dermatologist number one recommended. And I'm just, of course, going back to the exfoliating beads. I love how the exfoliating beads are into the body wash or in the body wash. Um, I feel like that's like a one, one and two type thing, one and done, because you get to like cleanse your body and you also get to exfoliate at the same time. So this is what I like to go in with after I use my pre-cleanse, my body cleanse, and then my Vino, just to kind of get like that exfoliating part in. And then I love also the smell, y'all. I love the smell of it. It's so like, it kind of smells like powder. I know people don't really use powder anymore, but I love like, it smells like a soft powder and just, it really feels like you're getting a clean feel. Like you just smell clean. I love, I love Dove. I've always been team Dove since middle school. Like Dove is the best. My girlfriend, she's team Olay, so we be having like little baits, but Dove, really good. The only thing about Olay though is, I don't like how overly scented or heavy scented their like body washes are. And I feel like if your body washes are that heavily scented, then it's bad for your skin because I shouldn't like, it's okay to smell good, but I feel like if you're putting all these like scents and chemicals into the body wash, like it has to be something in there that isn't good for skin because you want it to smell so good. And I'm sure it's something in there that just won't mix with my skin. Yes, y'all, this is like, she's that girl. If you haven't gotten this, get it. 
and if you have it at walmart or if you have it at you know the store or you see it in the store i highly recommend this out of all the other ones i usually have like a hard time picking or trying to like select which dove product to get but this is always number one because it smells good and then you get the smoking i almost forgot like the most almost the most important thing like this is what really comes in handy this is what really changes the game and really really puts the body wash to work this freaking rag or this freaking i don't even know what to call it but it's like an african exfoliating rag or cloth it's a game changer y'all this it really feels like you're scrubbing the dirt the oils in the day away I bought this for like $2.35 at Big Lots. I don't know if wherever you guys are, you have a Big Lots, but people be sleeping on Big Lots. Big Lots be having the gems, and it be kind of cheap too. But I got this for like $2.35. I know a lot of people post it like on TikTok and stuff, and other people call it like an African exfoliating rag or, you know, exfoliating. I can't think of the word. Exfoliating thing but i got this from big lots and like when i first used it i feel like it's almost time for me to get another one but when i first used it like i was like i'm throwing away all my rags i don't use the only time i use a rag is when i use it for like downtown but i use this to cleanse my body and it works and my favorite 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 thing about it is it's so long you when you wash your back you can like really scrub it and exfoliate it i absolutely love that because i feel like with the rag you can't do that but this cloth exfoliating cloth heaven heaven sent y'all and then i see it the girls the girlies be using it on tiktok and they usually recommend it from like a person who sells these like a black owned business who sell these and then you can also get them off amazon this is what Chelsea also also put me on to. At this point, this video is sponsored by Chelsea because she really put me on to a few things. That is the first person that has ever got me to buy something like with my real money. Like nobody has ever convinced me online, an influencer, a celebrity, nobody has ever convinced me to buy something. The only person who has done that for real is Dear. I love to go in with this. Um, with this, I pair it with this. Now after I use it with this baby, we exfoliate, we get like a deep, deep, extra, 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 extra ex exfoliate experience because you got the gentle exfoliating bees in here and then you get the exfoliating cloth. It's a two in one. If I have any more, cause I've used like almost all of them, but I'll probably insert like a picture here. I also love like when I'm having like a rough day and I really just want to like relax. We also, have a tub in our shower so it's like a big deep tub where you can kind of do like soaks and stuff bath soaks i like to get shower bombs instead of bath bombs when i just want to take a shower and relax i have these shower bombs that you place like at the bottom of the shower y'all and then one of them is like armor therapy or whatever that word is and then it was like a spa lavender experience one i really like the lavender one because you know they say lavender really is supposed to soothe you and relax you but that is something I also like to implement when I'm, you know, feeling a little overwhelmed or just anxious and I just want to wind down and relax. I love using those as well. So occasionally I'll pop one of those into the shower and I'll let like the steam kind of like get me right. While we're on the topic of exfoliating, y'all know I got to come out with the Tree Hut exfoliating scrubs. Y'all know those are like the it girl of exfoliating scrub so i've had this for a while but i i guess i would say this is like my favorite one as far as scent it is the tree hut shade sugar scrub exotic bloom y'all it smells so freaking good so 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 freaking good i've been using these scrubs since i was in like high school college-ish I don't remember high school but college I've, I've been using these for years more recently my girlfriend got me this watermelon one and i like it because it has like these little watermelon beads and it feels like you're getting a deeper exfoliated experience um and it literally smells like watermelon i kid you not one night i used this and i had to go to public to get watermelon because i started to crave watermelons so good gotta exfoliate i love going in with this after i you know have cleansed my body with all my body washes and it just feels like my skin is like extra soft when i like shave my legs 
your legs will feel extra clean and extra soft after you exfoliate. I love it. 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 I love, it. I love exfoliating freaking um, scrubs. I also have like five or six more. Like I literally have a whole stack in the bathroom and I didn't want to like show y'all all of them because they dang are all almost gone. So I definitely need to go to the store and re-up. But I have other ones. But those two are like my most favorite or most like used. So after we pre-cleanse, cleanse, exfoliated, after the shower, I like to go in with this. I actually just bought this. Um, the Vaseline Spray Moisture. It's literally just Vaseline, kind of like lotion, but it's spray. And I feel like it's much easier to kind of just apply after I get out the shower. And it is the Cocoa Radiant Scent. And it moisturizes and absorbs in seconds to help peel dry skin. And it's non-greasy, which is what I actually like. Because you know, like the actual... The actual Vaseline is like kind of greasy, so I like to go in with this. And then, y'all know Dr. Tills is that girl, kind of, because it's so like, I don't know. But Dr. Tills, um, I actually got this from Big Lots. It is the moisturizing bath and body oil, and it has jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, and grapeseed oil. And what I like about this is you can put this on while you're in the shower or in the bath. So it's kind of like you already get that moisturizing or like oil body before you get out the shower. Um, the directions say to add to bath to moisture skin while you soak or after shower or bath smooth on skin to seal in moisture. So I like to use this occasionally because the smell is kind of like it's not harsh, but it's the, I don't know how to pronounce this word, but it's like the eclip, eclipses or something. Eclip, uh, eclipsis, octopus. I don't know y'all, but I like the smell. It's a little harsh, so I don't like to really use this because I feel like it kind of takes away from my like exfoliating and body wash smell, like the clean and um, powder smell that I like this it just does a lot and then it says for lightweight moisture and bath and water but because it's oil it's a little thick and then i'm gonna show you guys one last thing that i like to kind of like use when i'm trying to like get right for the night one more second okay last but certainly 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 not least i like to use darkness hills i love darkness hills um, I also have like a bath um, foaming wash by Dr. Tills, but I don't use it all the time because it's for like bath soaps. But I like to go in the, with the Dr. Tills Sleep Spray. It has melatonin and essential oils and it promotes a better night's sleep. And y'all, I've had this since I was in college. It was like my senior year in college and I saw this. And I was like, let me grab a bottle and see, you know, if it works. And I would say it does work. My girlfriend absolutely hates it, so I don't really get to like use it in the bed or like spray it all over the bed because she hates the smell but it says that you can use this in the shower on pillows and bedding on body or in the bedroom and i like to just kind of like spray it kind of like on my chest area or like you know where i will smell it the most and it does like kind of get those eyes low get you a little sleepy so i absolutely love to go in with this when i'm trying to like you know unwind and like treat myself to the like ultimate shower experience and when i know i'm tired or when i'm not tired and i'm trying to get you know a little sleepy i like to go in with this definitely love this but as far as like smelling fresh all day I definitely recommend the two feminine hygiene products I showed you guys to stay fresh downtown and or downstairs. I keep wanting to say downtown. And then as far as like, you know, cleansers, I definitely recommend that pre-cleanse so your skin can feel soft and feel fresh and moisturized. And then Dove products, I always highly recommend. But as far as what Dove or specific body wash I recommend for like staying fresh all day is the, the Gentle Exfoliate in Scrub or Body Wash because it has like the beads and then the smell is just immaculate. That pretty much wraps up all of the products that I use to stay fresh and clean all day as well as moisturize. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any suggestions or recommendations for products, um, like I mentioned before, the little eczema problem I have on my arm. If you guys have any recommendations for that let me know down below make sure you guys also follow me on instagram at the brianaya and yeah that pretty much wraps up this video i love you guys and i will see y'all in my next video